In this short clip, we're going to take a look at how we can take advantage of using terrain models here in OpenBridge Modeler. Now, the terrain model is primarily used to set uh, the elevations for the top of the footings, uh, but it can also be used uh, just from a, a reference point of view to see where the structure is relative to uh, the existing or proposed terrain. Now you can import the train model in from a variety of different sources or you can reference it in if it's already in a microstation drawing and that's what I have today. So I'm going to come down here and just basically attach a reference file. I'm going to tell it that I want to do it coincident world and that will go ahead and open that terrain model. Here we can see the boundary of the train model and if I select that boundary I can hover over it and look at its properties and I can see that everything's grayed out right now I need to come down here and double click on override symbology to tell it yes that I want to override it and at that point I could turn on the contours or triangles or flow arrows or, or any other feature that I want to see here in my case I'm going to double click on triangles and turn those on and now we can see uh, those triangles in both the top view and this rotated uh, isometric view here on the right so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tell the software that I want to make this the active terrain model and to do that I'll pick the other terrain model tool here with a green check mark and then I select any part of the terrain model out here in the view and that now makes it the active terrain model and just to verify that I can come here to Project Explorer and look and verify that I do have an active terrain model in here right now. So now I'm going to go to the substructure tab tell it that I want to place up here with elevation constraints enabled. I'll select the pier lines that I want to use, right click and accept those, and then I'm going to tell the software here in the uh, footings window uh, that I want the top of the footings to be four foot below the ground uh, by default here, uh, or I could make it some other value. So maybe I make it three foot below the ground, apply it to all of them, select OK, the software is going to go out there and figure out what is the elevation on the uh, terrain model uh, at the existing ground at that station and then use that elevation for uh, the footings uh, that we see here uh, that have been added in. Now you can always go back and select uh, any of those piers and modify those constraints later on. So for example I could come in here uh, to these constraints and say no I want to use uh, an elevation of 1966 and say apply to all and when I select OK uh, the models updated uh, with you know, based on those new uh, conditions that I just gave it. Thank you for watching this video on using train models and elevation constraints here within OpenBridge Modeler.